morning in lecture 7 in its second part I will explain shortly the command text uh, basically uh, you have to press T and then uh, space uh, T space is actually it's M text command and uh, it's one of the uh, basic command here in, in AutoCAD uh, all it's required in the beginning is to establish like a rectangle or a placement area and after that, uh, a very short uh, uh, area, or very, very sorry, more, uh, short window is going to be open. And uh, you notice that uh, the ribbon changing to reflect back a very word, Microsoft Word, uh, similar to Microsoft Word uh, tab in here. So you can go ahead and write room 1, for example. And uh, that's the size of that text is, is being placed here. So if you hit, uh, you know, close editor, uh, some cases you won't see this text, and as you see, uh, nothing almost shown. In order to fix this, just select in the blank area that you just placed it, and go toward the rectangle. There is two, uh, re sorry, two rectangles, here, two triangles here, and one uh, square rectangle. Just zoom in toward it, place the mouse above it, and zoom toward it. Double click on it to open it double a click or triple a click in order to select all that make it you know bluish or selected and then select that 2.5 let's make it 250 and you have here to press enter if you don't have if you don't press enter that's the first mistake and the second mistake if you didn't select the the text room one uh, those both will you know collapse everything so select the text change that to 250 press enter to make it bigger and then close the, uh, the text editor and that goes you know for placement a test as you can see I'll repeat that again so it's just a T space and I'll place that here and from the beginning I can just change that to 250 as I knew that this text is the size is, is you know like uh, the correct thing to be done I'll go room 2 I know it's too crazy big and I can just select that double click and I can you know change the font uh, to whatever I want you know as you can see and I can make it bold uh, italic I don't know uh, all those features you know the alignment it's very basic you know uh, Microsoft Word uh, insert the symbols or whatever close that and when you zoom in you know that's your text so I would go and copy those text you know like that or this text in you know, a several time and then double click and then just select the number make it three and instead of keep creating the text uh, several times that which is really not correct so that's uh, again very very short uh, very short uh, uh, video about text you probably need to go and create a layer and you call it text and uh, specify make it current and specify the color for it and uh, I don't know which color maybe red and then you know just select those text you created and just place them in the correct layer now if you added text extra text like you know living or whatever and that text you know you can click outside to finish is just you know not enough within the window that you created so you can go ahead and just you know click and drag that triangle to make it longer and then you can just simply place it in the correct place and again, uh, similar uh, commands as you see that you can pl place it or align it to the left or to the center or to the right and so on. Uh, controlling the, 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 the way that it makes the kerning or the, the leading within this area that you specify or select it. Anyway, I wish that you find this uh, quick uh, text video useful. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day.